Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a mountain in Gaia. Then we'll make a custom material in Blender so we can control the material and textures without going inside the node editor. So let's start in Gaia. I already made the terrain, but I'm gonna show you the nodes I used. The first node is Perlin, and you can copy the settings. We can add the nodes by drag and drop to the graph, or right click and search the node. Also, here in the output, click and drag and search for the node. Um, the next node is Gradient, set to Radial, and you can play with the scale. Next, add Stacks, I leave it as it is, um, then Erosion, I used uh, 13% and also increased uh, random sedimentation and we have to apply the changes we made now we need some maps to control the textures in blender so the first node i created is slope in properties i only use the max value. You can also play with fall off. Next, I created a snowfall. Uh, play with the settings so you can get a different result, but we have to convert it to black and white so we can use it as a mask. Click here in the second slot and type FX. Uh, I will use only uh, these maps, but you can make more. For example, uh, soil or production. And you can also experiment with these data nodes. And now we are ready to export. In Erosion, right click and mark for export. This orange dot uh, means that the node will be exported. The shortcut is F3. So I'm gonna export Erosion, Slope, and FX. Now let's go to build. The last node that modifies the terrain will be the displacement map, in this case erosion. So I'm gonna rename it as displace. For the displacement use EXR and for the rest I'm gonna use PNG, 4K for the resolution, um, the limit for free version is 1K, and select the destination, and hit start build. Now let's jump to Blender. Uh, here in Blender, with Shift A, create a plane. Um, tap for edit mode and right click and subdivide I'm gonna use 30 cuts now add the subdivision surface modifier 
and also a displace modifier. I click on new, then click here to open the texture tab and select the displacement map that Gaia created. Right click and shade smooth. Now over here in the texture tab, under mapping, change from repeat to extend. Now go back to modifiers and set mid level to zero and increase the strength. Also increase subdivision levels uh, with five levels is enough and also increase render levels. And now let's create the material. I'm gonna open the shader editor here and click new. Now we need the node wrangler add-on, so make sure it's activated in preferences, add-ons, node wrangler, and check the box. Now select the shader and press Ctrl Shift T and here select your textures. The textures I'm gonna use are from ambientcg.com. You will find all the links that you need in video description. Hold Ctrl and select the color, normal GL and also roughness. Now I'm gonna change to material preview and enable scene lights and lower strength. Now I'm gonna add a sunlight and just rotate it. In light properties, increase the strength. Now in the shader, uh, set specular to 0 0.01. And here in mapping, instead of UV, we can use object. And now change flat to box. And increase blend to hide the seams. And do the same for each texture. Roughness and normal. Okay, so now for the grass texture, uh, Shift D to duplicate this node and here find your grass texture. Now add a mix color and connect the grass texture. Now add a new texture node. And here select the mask we created in Gaia, in this case, uh, slope, and connect into factor. Color space should be non color. And now we can add a color ramp and place between the mask and mix color. With the sliders, we can control the mask. Now let's add the normal map for the grass. Again, duplicate the node. And find the normal map. Add the mix color. And connect the normal map. Make sure it's non-color. And now we have to connect 
the slope mask from color ramp to factor. And I'm going to change this to flat. Now in the grass color, press Ctrl D and we can repeat the texture in scale and change to flat. And now connect mapping to the normal map. Now for the snow, uh, add a new mix color. And duplicate these nodes. Now select the snow map and set to non color and connect to factor. And now we have the snow. Okay, so now let's see how to create the custom material. Uh, to do this, select all the nodes, except the output, and with all selected, press Ctrl G, and now we created a node group. To exit, click this button, and to go inside, click here. This is the group input, and here in this side panel, if you can see it, just press N and click here in group. The first control that I want to make is for the snow. So I'm going to add a gamma node and place it between the snow mask and color ramp. Now we can control the snow visibility. Bring the group input and connect it to gamma. In the side panel, we can rename the input um, snow. And for default, I'll leave it as it is and minimum to zero and maximum 10 is okay. Now open the material properties and here in surface, we can control the textures from here. We don't have to go inside the node group to do that. Now let's do the same but with the grass texture, again add a gamma between the mask and color ramp and connect to the group input. Rename it. I can leave it as it is, um, but keep in mind that sometimes you will have to adjust these values. And we can add more inputs. For example, we can add one to control the texture scale. Uh, should be set to vector. And now set your values here. Also, we can add one to change the color. Add a hue saturation to the grass color and connect group input to value. And set your values. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.